Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a two for one video. So like I'm doing a foundation review with Mally, but I also had this Mally palette. So I thought, you know what, let's combine two for one. So we're gonna see how the Mally foundation does an aware test throughout the day. And then we used a lot of the Mally for the eye look and the cheeks. So we're gonna see how these two hold up by the end of the day. So. If you want to know what happens, stay tuned. Okay, so I got a new foundation um, off of the recommendation on Facebook on a beauty page, and it is for the Mali foundation, and I am going to use medium light. So my face is a little bit, well, a lot bit more red than normal. That's because I had done an acid mask peel this morning. So, um, Mally is going up against a fresh face, but it is a lot of red, so we're going to see how this one does. Um, and then at the end of the day, I will do a circle around and see how well this held up. So, let's get started. I'm going to start out by priming my face with the Locket Featherweight Primer from Kat Von D. And that rubbing my face made it even more red. So Miss Mally, let's see how you do. I'm going to use one of my favorite makeup brushes. So my girlfriend got this for me for Christmas. Um, and thank you, Amanda, because this has now replaced all of the little beauty blenders. Um, I rarely use the beauty blenders anymore because I just love how wonderful this brush is. And again, I have to give props to my girl, Amanda. So I'm going to squirt just a little bit of the foundation of Mally on my little brush and I'm just going to place it on the forehead, cheeks. So I'm starting out with a lighter bit of it. I only use two pumps. And as red as my face did, that um, that few bit of pumps already calmed down the red. I am being very careful around my eyebrows today. So my eyebrows are still healing. Um, I recently, about a week ago, got them microbladed. So I'm being very careful not to put any product in my um, new eyebrows. So I just added two more little pumps here. This is a very lightweight coverage. Um, very, I say lightweight, the formula is lightweight, but this should be a full coverage. It feels very lightweight, so that's kind of exciting to see how that um, for a full coverage foundation, it doesn't feel like you're putting on a thick product. It feels nice and light. Since we're going to do a Mally foundation, I figured we could do a Mally eye and cheek. So here's the palette here, and this is the more perfect palette. It is a total face kit. So we have some, oops, sorry, some blushes up here. Mally's Glow Blush and Romantic. We have a shadow base and a, this says a luminous luminizer. We have a brow light, brow lighter, shimmering taupe, Broadway bronze. Then we have um, natural Mally's glow eyeshadow and Nolita Navy. So we'll see what we come up with these little, this little guy. All right, so we're gonna start with this light color here. Mm -mm. And we're going to sweep that along the brow and all over the lid because I like to have something to blend off of and I don't want my eyeshadows to get stuck. While I was off camera, I did use um, the Painterly Paint Pot as the base before we put some powder over the top of it, but I still want to add a little bit of color, so we're going to use this one to blend off of. And as you can see, it's pretty neutral. You can't even tell I actually put it on my um, 
eyelid. We're going to go in next with this pink color here. We're going to go into the crease and bring this up a little bit towards the brow bone. Next, we're going to darken up that piece, that pink in the crease with this um, slightly darker color. This one's called Shimmer. Is that right? No, that can't be right. Nope, that's all right. Shimmering Taupe. And this does have a bit of fallout. I'll show you the next time when I knock the brush how you can see it fall off. It kind of, as much as it comes off in fallout, reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think half the palette ends up being knocked off the brush. Oh no, you can't see it. It was a little puff. Poof. Okay, this palette has a lot of shimmers and as I look through the rest of these, these actually have a shimmer and it doesn't look like it on camera, but I'm going to have to switch palettes because with the, these two colors I just put on, it's a lot of shimmer. I'm aging and so um, if I keep going with shimmers, it's going to be shimmer overload. But I'm going to take a moment before we switch palettes and finish using the Mali palette for as far as I'm going to go. And we're going to use this one in Romantic just to highlight the apples of our cheeks. It's a real pretty peach color. Peaches seem to do better on my skin. I think it's because I have such a red undertone. And that's just normal, not exactly today with... Um, my extra red because I used a uh, acid on it. So here's where we're going to pick up some Makeup Geek and I'm going to pull my Makeup Geeks in browns. We're going to use this one down here called Brownie Points. So we're going to use those brownie points and we're going to go over that line just to soften it. And as you can see between this eye and this eye, it just gives a little bit softer look and that's what we're going for today. Okay, we're going to use the color stay. This one is in plum for our lip liner. We're going to use the NYX Lingerie, and this color is in, this one's Lipley in 02. So while that dries, we're going to go back up to the eyes. I'm going to use my favorite waterproof, Lash Sensational, on the bottom lashes. The upper, for the upper lashes, we're going to use the Lash Sensational, and this is the regular. It's not waterproof. I will never understand why I must do this to myself. And I really try, I swear, I really try to go through one video, one, just one, without doing this. I'm going to use a little bit of the ColourPop, and this one is in Lights Out, so they're metallic. So that's going to conclude the face look. After some finishing spray. That's going to conclude our face look. So what we're going to do is we will check in later today and see how the foundation held up. And since we are using some blush 
and some eyeshadows from Mally. We'll see how they do with other products also. So you get kind of a two-in-one kind of video. We've got the foundation review and we had a little tutorial on top of it. <laughs> so let's see how this does for the rest of the day, shall we? Okay, so it's been about four or five, five-ish hours into um, this all-day wear test. And as you can see, it's starting to get very shiny. So in doing the old school zoom in, <laughs> you can see, well, that zooming in old school is out of focus. So you can see kind of it's getting really shiny, really, really shiny. And my, my little eyeshadows are kind of getting droopy. Look at all that shine and it's kind of rubbing away. So um, this may be a slightly better, this may be a slightly better um, foundation for drier skin. I have um, mixed combo oily in the tea and mind you this is winter so if I'm getting this much shine during winter um, this foundation might not be good for me during summer but um, we got a lot of shine but again you know one of the things that I liked about this this foundation is that it goes on light with a lot of coverage so dang it let's see how it does by the end of the day stay tuned Okay, so it's only been eight hours, and my normal work day is much longer than that, but um, we are going to go ahead and stop this wear test earlier. So, let me see what we got going on. Um, although y'all can't exactly see what I can, even with this close-up shot. So, um, overall, I mean, the foundation is very shiny. And that was kind of shiny early on with um, maybe a four to five hour work day. It, it really pulled out the, or my oils showed through. And for me, since it's winter, I was not expecting that. Um, so I've lost some coverage right around here. And my nose, the coverage is very spotty. My chin has obviously come off. And as far as the, the forehead goes, it still looks good. The cheeks look good. Um, so overall, everything looks good except for my T-zone. And that's my oiliest, oiliest. And that's my oiliest spot. So long story short. Okay, so we're only eight hours into a day. Um, it is very oily for me. And it does... Um, patch up or show through skin in my t-zone what would i say about this um a i think this could be a really good foundation for someone that has drier skin for me it because it is winter i expect foundations to be matte a lot longer and some of my foundations are matte a lot longer um, and some of them don't break up this quickly in the t-zone so that's why i think this Mally foundation would be great for someone with dry skin. What did I like about the Mally foundation? Well, I love that it was a very thin, thin um, consistency with a full coverage. So most of the full coverage foundations that I use to cover my mottled skin is a lot thicker. And so I was real excited that the Mally was a very thin consistency and covered well. So I think if you have um, dry skin and you have some blemishes you may want to cover on a, a high coverage or full coverage, I think this foundation is going to be great for you. Um, but don't quote me 100% because I don't have dry skin. However, um, I really, I mean, I like the foundation overall. I just wish that it wouldn't show my oils through um, as quick as it did throughout the day, especially because it is winter. This would not be a foundation that I would go to during summer. But again, I like the full coverage. For a few hours, it might be okay. If I was going to an event, I think it would be fine. But all day for my oily skin, it 
it probably wouldn't make the grade for most of the normal day. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this foundation and eye tutorial. So as far as the eye look goes, um, bewitched. Anyways, so as far as the eye look goes, okay, so the eyeshadows I think did well on my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes, so as far as the eyeshadows went, um, the eyeshadows made my eyes water very quickly and kind of irritated them throughout the day. Don't know that I would necessarily do the Mally eyeshadows again because my eyes are more sensitive. However, I did like the colors. I did like how they blended. The palette that I used was not um, something that I would gravitate towards because it had way too many shimmers. I'm too old for that many um, sparkly eyeshadows. And um, again, my eyes are sensitive, so the Mally eyeshadows didn't do well for my eyes. Now, as far as blush goes, I did like the Mally as far as the blush goes. It lasted all day. It's pretty. Um, and, I mean, it did well. So, with that being said, you got the eye... <clears throat> with that being said, you have a full review on the Mally eyeshadows. The Mally foundation and the Mally blushes. So what would I purchase again of Mally out of all of them? I would purchase the blushes again. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it very informative and make it a great day. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching my channel today to see how Mally did holding up as far as the foundation goes and what some of Mally's um, eyeshadows and blush looks like. So it's kind of a two-for-one tutorial. I do appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please put your comments below. I'd love to hear from you and what you're thinking. And as always, make it a beautiful day. Oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed, the button's below. Subscribe. Or if you have, refer me to a friend. Thanks. Have a good one.